Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about breastfeeding must-haves and just everything you need to know in general. I am celebrating the fact that I have been breastfeeding for seven weeks, which might not sound like a lot, but once you're in it and you realize how much of a full-time job it is, like literally a full-time job, then you will know that each week deserves its own celebration. My first must-have is without a doubt, like if I had to pick one product to gift every new mom that is gonna breastfeed, it would be this LV Curve. Basically, when you breastfeed, whichever side you're feeding from, the other side will leak. And if you're like me and have an oversupply, a lot will leak, so I've been able Able to capture like 14 ounces a day just in this to put in our fridge and I've built like this huge freezer stash just from what I've captured in my LV. If you have heard of the Hakka, it is in my opinion a million times better than the Hakka because basically the Hakka you put it also on the opposite side that you're feeding from more like a bottle so it suctions on your boob it hangs off and then I've just heard people say that when they're feeding their baby their baby will literally like kick the Hakka off and milk will just spill everywhere breast milk is very precious so anyways, this is my number one must-have. Another must-have when it comes to breastfeeding is going to be these milk storage bags that you can put in your freezer. I was gifted these specific ones at my baby shower. It's the Medela ones, and I actually loved them so much that I just ordered 100 more bags. I'm actually considering buying an extra freezer because once you just collect so much milk, it literally takes up so much space. But a space-saving hack is definitely going to be when you freeze your milk to make sure you freeze it laying down because if you do this way, then it's going to get like a huge bulge and then you can't stack them. But if you freeze the milk like this and you can just stack the milk really easy or do it this way once it's frozen, if something were to happen, if we took a trip and my supply dipped um, and I wasn't able to get it back, I've collected all this milk in our freezer that I can give to Isaiah and continue feeding him. Or if I want to stop after a year, then I'll have collected all of this that I can put like in his smoothies or his oatmeal or something like that and continue to give him the benefits of breast milk. And to go with the freezer bags, you are going to want a way to store all of them. So you can purchase off Amazon. They sell them. I've seen like one or two brands, but all you really need is like an empty box from a Coke can or for me, I am obsessed with Spindrift. So we have all these Spindrift boxes sitting out and they're the perfect size to store it. Once we get our extra freezer, I'm going to start putting all of my breast milk just stacked up in those boxes, but you can buy um, storage bins because Otherwise, it's just gonna take up your entire freezer falling all over the place. My next recommendation is going to be to get a hand pump, which at first I was like, why do I need this if I'm already get a hospital grade pump? but they are really convenient. If you already have the Hakka, that's a great hand pump. I have, like I said, the LV Curve, and then I also got the Medela hand pump. And when I use it is usually because I have a very heavy letdown <laughs> and an oversupply. So when I go long stretches without feeding Isaiah, then it's really great for me to be able to just hand pump for a little bit, get like two ounces out before feeding him. Otherwise he's like drowning in my milk and coughing and gulping and it's really sad had um, and also once they start sleeping longer stretches your breast can just get super engorged with milk and you don't want to wake up and signal your body to make more milk by full-on pumping but you can just use this hand pump to kind of take off the edge another breastfeeding essential nursing bras and nursing tanks I have these two and then I also have this is a different brand it's really comfy it's a great support I feel like it's almost more like a sports bra so it's kind of nice to wear if I'm like out and about as opposed to this but why I love these so much is because not only are they a nursing bra I'm currently wearing one so you can pull it down like this but it is also a pumping bra you can see that you just put the pump in there and you can wear it so I just like the fact that it doubles it's super convenient I am not gonna lie I'm really excited for the day that I don't have to wear nursing bras anymore which is clearly really far in the future since it's only week seven to go along with nursing bras you're also gonna probably want some nursing tanks Sometimes I'll just wear this around the house or if I'm running errands or outside having bras and tanks as options is really important and to go with your nursing bra nursing pads 
So you can get disposable ones, but I like these that are just washable because it's one, better for the environment, and two, I just think way more convenient to throw these in the wash. And the bras that I bought, they each come with a set. Even though the nursing bras come with these specific ones, I wanna recommend a brand called Bamboobies. They're just way more soft in my opinion. These are a little bit rough and like scratchy. They're not like super uncomfortable. I really only wear them when I sleep in case I leak. Um, but I will say that the Bamboobies are way softer. Another breastfeeding essential in my opinion is going to be button down shirts, exhibit A. So I have been living in any shirt that has like buttons and easy access so I can just button it down pull down my nursing bra, feed him and not have to worry about it. If I'm not wearing a button down shirt and I'm just by myself at the house and I don't have to look presentable, I'm probably just gonna be wearing some kind of lightweight shirt, um, even like crop tops because you can just pull them up and if he's eating here, then I just like tuck the shirt on this side to hold it up like this and then feed him and then pull it down. But button down shirts have been great, especially I just went to a baby shower yesterday and I actually wore this exact same shirt pretty sure there is like spit up on it but it's fine <laughs> and staying on the topic of wardrobe i would say a lightweight robe has been awesome this is the robe that i have michael got it for me for christmas it was a target find i think it was like 25 dollars, and it's the best thing ever it's so soft for middle of the night feedings this is awesome or just in the morning i just have a nursing bra under it and throw it on I think, again, just really easy access because you can just untie it, pull down your nursing bra, feed him, and you're good to go. Another breastfeeding must-have is going to be this app that I have on my phone called Baby Tracker. So you can see, um, I think I've shown this before on my newborn, like day in the life of a newborn video, but basically it just tracks your feeding so you remember which side you fed on last, how long. Um, the feeding was, how long between feedings it's been, because right now I'm trying to not let Isaiah go longer than a three hour stretch during the day because I really want him to sleep long at night. So I'm trying to fill him up with all his calories during the day. So since his last feeding, it's been two hours and 14 minutes, really hoping he stays asleep for another 45 minutes so I can finish filming this, um, but then I'll wake him up and feed him. But it also, you can track like dirty diapers, how long they sleep, if you pump, how long, when, um, how much, produced and then there's just random other activities but in the hospital I did use this app to track dirty diapers because I wanted to make sure that he was getting enough food and now I definitely know that he is <laughs> I don't do that I just use it for nursing my next breastfeeding must have is a pretty obvious one but it's going to be a hospital grade pump I have this Spectra, I think it's the Spectra S1. My insurance didn't fully cover it, I think they cover the S2, but the reason I like this one so much, it has a battery in it, so you can actually just charge it, which makes it semi-portable. So if I wanna lay in bed and pump, I don't have to be near an outlet, I could take it in the car if I really needed to. I was looking into the LV and the Willow, um, because those are completely portable pumps, but you just literally stick them in your bra and you can walk around and do whatever you need for the day, but I really don't pump very often so I would just kind of think about how often you plan on pumping when making the decision of which one to get but for me this has been great again love that it's portable still even though it's a lot clunkier than the LV or the Willow um, it's exactly what I needed and I really only pump once a day anyways my next must-have is going to be a giant water bottle so <laughs> if you've been following me for a while you know I got this huge gallon sized water bottle for my hospital bag, which I ended up not taking because I didn't need it. The nurses frequently come in and ask you if you need anything and just kept bringing us water and ice. And they actually called me Ice Mama <laughs> at the hospital because I just kept asking for ice. You will never be thirstier in your life than you are when you're breastfeeding. So now is the time to buy a gallon sized water bottle or just make sure you have multiple water bottles or one that you keep um, beside you while you're nursing. You gotta make sure you're prepared with water because you are going to be super thirsty all the time. To go along with how thirsty you will be while breastfeeding, you will also be so freaking hungry. Oh my gosh. I have never eaten more in my life than I have while breastfeeding. It is insane. While I was pregnant, I didn't really have that ravenous 
just like non-stop hunger like you see in the movies but breastfeeding is a whole new ball game i feel like i'm eating and eating and eating and i'm just never full it's wild um so i would definitely say picking up your favorite snacks or prepping like energy balls i have a bunch of recipes on my website for energy balls snack mix um this protein puppy chow that i'm obsessed with and a new snack that i'm obsessed with is putting ranch seasoning in cottage cheese and dipping pretzels in it i'm sorry if that sounds weird but it's like the best thing ever it just tastes like a healthy like ranch dip so just have your giant water bottle and your snacks and just park it there with your baby because man like the first couple weeks are insane with breastfeeding because they are cluster feeding so much which basically means like every 30 to 45 minutes they just want to eat you feed you burp you change their diaper and then they want to eat again so it literally is a full-time job snacks are very very important one of my favorite breastfeeding products is going to be this Boppy 4 and More. This works as a car seat cover. You can take it with you when you're the grocery store. You can put it in their high chair, um, but it also goes over your head and your body to cover you for breastfeeding. The way that I use it the most is as a car seat cover. So I just leave it on our car seat and it blocks the sun out of Isaiah's eyes when we're driving. And then if we go for walks, I keep it on there as well and cover him up um, where I can still peek on him and there's still gaps in the side of the car seat so fresh air is coming in and out so although I don't use it as much for breastfeeding as I do as just a car seat cover it's really awesome the fact that I can just simply take it off of his car seat or in the stroller and place it over me to breastfeed him when we're out and my final breastfeeding must-have is going to be nipple cream I was very blessed because Isaiah had a really good latch from day one. As soon as he was born, he latched onto me and started eating. Everyone was really impressed with him at the hospital. But regardless how great a latch your baby has, I feel like everyone goes through a phase where their nipples are just getting acclimated to this <laughs> new... Um, lifestyle I don't really know what to call it but basically your nipples are going to crack and bleed and it's very painful and that happened to me really only for a week like I said I was really really lucky with Isaiah but even for that week this stuff was a game changer um, this was the stuff that the hospital provided so that is why I'm recommending this specific one it's from Medela and it was just like so heavy duty like a gel almost and the week we came home from the hospital, I used it I think for two days and then everything was healed and I never needed to use it again. You don't have to take it off before they start feeding. So I don't know if all of the creams are like that. Like I said, I don't have a lot of experience with testing out different ones, but this one was so great that I don't know why I wouldn't recommend it. And there you have it. Those are all of my breastfeeding must-haves. I hope you found it helpful. If you are breastfeeding, then shout out to you because it is honestly the craziest thing and probably the hardest thing. If you like this video or if you know somebody that could find this video helpful, please send it to them and give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe so you never miss another video. And until next time, I will see you next time.